Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market. Our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty, and USD. And now, give me a second. I'm just trying up a new new setup. I'm not sure if both channels are working correctly. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, I'm not seeing chat from. Both channels together. Yes, Pratyush, hi Dilip, hi, 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 hi. Okay, okay. Both channels are working. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I'm trying a new. I think my audio is on. Is my audio on? Yeah, my audio is also on. Cool. Because I left my usual camera at office for some reason uh, on Friday, and so I'm now at home and I don't have the camera here, etc., etc. Et <laughs> anyway. Um, Oh, I think I'll have to again lead with the you know, work badal gaye, just baat badal gaye, and all that stuff because uh, market has significantly changed since the last time we met, right? So let me just uh, oh, one second. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, daily market analysis, right? Right. So, okay, let's let's go. So, the most important two charts are the Nifty spot chart and the Nifty future chart of Friday. Now, if you look at it on Friday, whether you look at spot or spot and future give you slightly different interpretations. We'll come to that. But here's the thing, right? The Regardless of whether you take Nifty Futures or Nifty Spot, one thing is there, they both look like almost a bearish engulfing with very good volumes. If you look at Spot chart, it is testing the blue trend line from where the breakout happened. If you look at the Futures chart, it has already broken the blue trend line and now it is inside, right? So we had talked about it uh, uh, last time. So if you looked at our th Friday, Thursday analysis, our analysis was that short is below 17.850 zone on futures. It went below 17.850 and there was a good shorting opportunity for around 100 points. And uh, the buy was if the trend line holds. So below the blue line, it is short. Above the blue line, it is long. It went below the blue line. It was a short. And uh, if you did that, as of now, you will be in the money by around 100 points. So that is nice. Now let's look at Bank Nifty also. Um, sorry. So, um, Bank Nifty, what does it do? It has formed a bearish engulfing candle and it has closed below the trend line. Let me say the day I turned bullish, the stock turned out to a low man. I, I, I had said that, you know, if it's below the blue trend line, it's a short. But yes, indeed, I, I didn't turn bullish, to be very honest. I... I didn't, I didn't short because my, oh, sorry, I didn't long because my thing was that, look, I won't long, but I'll uh, not short either till the blue line, right? So below the blue line, it was a clean shot and it was with volumes. So it was great, right? So Bank Nifty formed a bearish engulfing candle and it has closed below this trend line we have been plotting from a really long time. <coughs> Bank Nifty is negative as of now, very clearly with bearish engulfing. Nifty looks negative because bearish engulfing plus break of the trend line and dollar of course is adding strength to it. So on charts, right, everything which usually says that risk is coming back into the system is suggesting um, a, a negative trend. Now let's also look at Nifty weekly. This is a negative candle, but then I mean, okay, it's a negative candle, it's a red candle, but it's just a red candle. There's nothing beyond the obvious fact that this is a red candle. And because we are approaching the end of the month, let's also look at uh, uh, the monthly candle. Monthly candle is a bullish engulfing previous month followed by one confirmation. But in monthlies, right, you can't really, I mean, uh, so SA, if you look at it, right, yeah, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll just see when the month ends and what happens after the price action, right? Because now I'm almost slipping into the dangerous uh, territory of uh, prediction stuff. Let's not go to prediction stuff. And if you look at it again on an hourly time frame, um, Nifty is below the 50 hourly moving average and 100 hourly moving average is at 17,560. 
uh, and 200 hourly moving average is somewhere around 17,000, right? So, on all time frames, Nifty is right now looking negative. That is point number one. Now, let's look at option chain. Everything is negative on option chain, right? Look at it. Uh, massive call addition, almost five, 50 million calls added, 5 million puts added. That's hardly anything. Unwinds, which is significant at 7,900 and 7,800. No put addition at any strike on Friday. Overall, option chain is also looking like it has got no support no support nowhere right even 17500 doesn't look like a support pcr of 0.7 which is among the lowest pcrs we have seen since nifty hit 15200 and uh, so overall option chain is a pretty negative trend finally looking at fi data this is my strongest reason why i think there's a we, 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 there's a uh, turnaround coming 56000 calls 1.6 lakh puts that's three times puts as calls and this red line, green line has just jumped, right? So we have always noticed that every time the green is above red or the gap is closing, we see positivity, but now the gap has really widened. This is massively negative and this is not it, right? 66,000, that's almost 70,000 calls sold and 45,000 puts bought. I don't think we have seen such a huge uh, sell call by put number recently. In fact, even on the positive turn of nifty we didn't see the reverse of such a big number so this is the single biggest directional uh, option data we are seeing in a really really long time 66,000 calls sold and 44 the almost 1.1 lakh net bearish direction 1600 crores uh, this is bearish uh, futures there is a little bit of stock buying but I won't call it bullish simply because this is overwhelming this is overwhelming so market I for me now this doesn't make sense to be long looks like the breakout was fake so as long as it is under the blue line of breakout i'm going to be selling calls shorting futures with tighter sell or doing the bear put spread now the question is where, how do you play this right so see ideally you should trade as close to this blue line as possible because this blue line is your stop loss right so if you are going to short here and keep the blue line as the stop loss it's going to be tough if you're going to short here with the new blue line as a stop loss it's going to be tough uh, i think 17600 which is the last gap we have is pretty much on the cards Uske baad dekhenge kya hota hai. even um, so but basically right you should sell on every uptick as long as you get a selling figure close to the blue line if you don't get a figure close to blue line once it runs away then look for local tops uh, forming so that you can so for example right yaha pe, you should have shorted ideally here but ye mila, to yaha pe kar lo, because there is a bullish hammer here so etc etc but after this point it doesn't make sense to be long nifty so why because mega bearish fia data mega bearish option data mega bearish uh, index uh, ka chart right all three are negative so because all three are negative i'm not going to be any kind of you know bullish on nifty nifty is bearish it is what it is so let us stick to that right so yeah this is uh, um this is what i think is coming for the market this week Again, I'm not saying that there's a reversal all the way to 14,000. Please don't buy 14,000, 15,000 puts, etc. Uh, I'm just saying that this is the beginning of a reversal. Whether this is a reversal all the way to 17,000 or to 14,000, we don't know, right? In fact, we don't have to predict it now. See, there is no incentive, right, for you to know whether the target is 17,000 or 14,000, right? Yeah, jaha tak chalega, hum bhi chalenge. Agar 15,000, 17,000 pe aage ruka, so we will exit our shots. Agar for 70,000 pe aake aur bhi niche wala momentum laga, to we will stay on our shot. There is no point in predicting ki, oh boss 15,000 aega. We aap December 15,000 put to lene wale niyo, right? So my, my funda is, as long as the market is negative, stay short and let's see how far it goes, right? People who went long at uh, 15,200 and exited at 16,000 might have regretted it because nobody thought it will go to 18,000, right? Just like nobody thought it will go to 18,000. Now let's not try to predict where it will go in its down move. Maybe it is 17,600, maybe it's 17,200 EMA, maybe it's 16,800 which was that important swing high. Like all I'm saying is that 
let's see how far it goes but as of now please don't be long this is a market you have to be short right so right this is our analysis for uh, this weekend we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much guys for joining i i usually don't do a sunday edition but i think market has really really turned around so i think i think just for in the interest of all the viewers i thought it might be a good idea to say that okay we are now bearish let's let's get on to the bear cartel again right so so yeah that is all from my end thank you so much for joining we'll see you again tomorrow till then as always take care and keep your capital safe